So, hi everyone, and in today's video, we're going to do the long, deep screw shop. So I get a lot of requests in the comments saying, can you please show us how to do um, a long, deep screw length of the table? So we're all used to seeing Judd Trump play these shots on the TV. They look very impressive. He's got a big distance between the white and the object ball, and he pots the ball and screws the white all the way, sometimes back into the bulk area. It's not a shot that's needed very often in snooker. It's more of an exhibition shot. Looks very impressive when you do get it right. Occasionally, the reason that Judd will play those shots is because there's no other safety shot available. So he's trying to pot the ball and also bring the white back into safety. So let's talk in detail about how this shot works and then we'll try and play one as well and get the white to come all the way back up the table. Right, so I've got my half and half cue ball here, which will give us a better idea of how this cue ball is spinning and how it's reacting on the table. So obviously when we play a screw shot, we've got to hit right at the bottom of the white ball and that's going to generate all that backspin so that when this white ball hits the object ball, it starts to come backwards. Now, when the white ball is very close to the object ball, so let's say, for example, I wanted to pot this blue and play it a screw shot, obviously, because there's not much distance between the white and the blue, there'll probably still be some spin left on this cue ball when it hits the blue, and that's what generates that backspin and that screw back effect that we always see. Now, when we play these length of the table screw shots, the thing that makes this shot so difficult is we need this ball to still have lots of backspin left on it when it contacts the object ball. And because the object ball is a long, long way away from where the cue ball starts off, there's a good chance that the friction on the table as this white ball is traveling all the way along the table, the white will lose some of that spin. And when it hits the object ball, you won't get that screw effect. It will just turn into a screw shot. So this shot requires lots of power and lots of timing, and we'll talk about timing in a second. You hear that on the TV all the time. So it requires lots of power, lots of timing, so that when it hits that object ball, it still has some screw back, and then it zips back and comes back up the table. Okay, so now let's look at two examples of how the white ball is behaving and just how much backspin we need to try and generate so that the white ball screws back over this long distance. So on this first one here, I am hitting low on the cube ball, right at the bottom so as much screw as I can get and you'll see that when I play this shot I've slowed this down so that you can see how the spin works on the cube ball so you can see as I play this shot the white is spinning backwards it's coming down the table and it's just starting to run out that spin as it gets towards the red and then you can see that all it does is just roll back just a very very tiny amount because I just had not got enough backspin generated on the cube ball so now let's look at the other shot, and now this shot is where I do generate enough speed and get the white spinning enough so that I really manage to create that long, deep screw shot that we're after. So if we play this one, I've slowed it down again. You can see nice long backswing with the cue, and then right through the white, and now the white is really spinning, so a lot more, and you see it hit that red, and look at it spinning on the spot there and then it starts to come backwards because it's still got plenty of extra backspin because of all that cue speed and that excellent time in there as the white was struck. So that's how you generate that long, deep screw shot. You have to make sure that as the white is going down the table, it's got lots of extra backspin left on the white, and when it hits that red, it's still got that backspin, and then it zips back and it screws back up the table. Now then, so this is where your technique and your timing comes into the shot because You've got to get this cue accelerating as fast as it can possibly be going right at the point when your tip makes contact with the cue ball. So that's what we mean by that timing really. It means that when a player has actually accelerated the cue and right at the point that the cue tip starts to make contact with the cue ball at the bottom there, it's accelerating at its fastest possible speed. Now on this channel, I've talked a lot about technique, getting everything right, staying nice and still on the shot. But actually on these long deep screw shots, your technique has to go a little bit out of the window because you've got to generate lots of cue speed. And the only way you can do that really is to move your arm as fast as possible, which means the cue might come up in the air. So if we look at one of Judd Trump's incredibly famous long deep screw shots, you can see that when Judd plays this shot, look at where his cue finishes there. He's almost stood up on the shot and the cue has finished right up in the air because he's tried to generate lots and lots of speed. And the only way to do that is to accelerate his arm as fast as possible and then let it actually go up in the air and forward because in order to be hitting this white with the cue traveling at its fastest speed, Judd couldn't stop just one centimeter after he's made contact. He has to make sure he's pushing through and going right through the shot. 
So when we're in close range like this, you can still play these shots with a nice neat technique. So if I was to play one of these, I can still play these and keep everything nice and smooth, exactly like we would discuss on this channel, keeping your technique nice and neat. But when you're playing those long, deep screw shots that are going length of the table, you have to let your cue go up in the air a little bit because you're trying to, as I say, hit the bottom of that white, trying to remain as accurate as possible, but also get the cue at its absolute fastest right as that Q-tip hits the white. So let's have a look at me trying to play one of these long, deep screw shots. And as people always ask in the comments, how many takes did it take? Well, stick around till the end and I'll show you how many shots it took before I got this shot and managed to screw the white all the way back up into bulk. Okay, so let's have a look at me trying to play this long, deep screw shot then. So I've got the white placed in the D there. The red's about, just about in between the pink and the black spot. I'm standing behind the line of aim, that gives me the best view of lining up this shot. And then let's see if I can generate that spin on the white. So I've potted the red nicely, got that delayed reaction, that lovely screw back effect. And I've actually screwed back into bolt there, right past the bolt line, almost hitting the bolt cushion. Now if we just have one more look at that shot again, and we zoom in on my technique here. So let's just have a look at me playing this shot. So I'm trying to keep as still as possible, but you'll see that as I play it, my cue actually comes up off my bridge hand there and then it ends up back on the bridge hand but the reason it comes off the bridge hand there is just because I'm trying to generate that maximum speed that we talked about earlier I'm trying to hit it with as much cue speed as I possibly can which means I have to go past the white by quite a bit that generates all that extra backspin and that's what helps you to get the cue ball zipping all the way back up the table so as always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give the video a like. Also subscribe to the channel. I do lots of instructional videos like this, um, practice routine videos and some fun videos on this channel. And if you subscribe, that really helps me to keep this content coming. For anybody that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, I'm doing those working with players all the time on the table, helping them to improve their game. So visit my website at www.bartonsnooker.co.uk. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.